So we welcome back again to Ask Endocrinology channel. You know, it's been a wonderful time. I've been having a great time here. If you are new to this uh, channel, we encourage you to like, share, coming, uh, watch our videos. We have videos that we have talked many things about different hormones and the conditions that could happen when they are abnormal. You know? So we are happy you are here today. As always, it's me and Dr. Hope. And you know, the more you know, the better you are. Today, we're going to talk about adrenal gland. Very interesting topic. I want you to please listen carefully and uh, let's dive into it. Right, Dr. Hope? All right. Welcome. And thank you so much for joining us. So I just want to start out by telling you where the adrenal gland is and what it is. The the adrenal gland is a small gland right above the kidney. So it's above each kidney. So you have two adrenal glands, one on the right and one on the left, and they are right above the kidney. The adrenal gland normally um, makes uh, hormones, um, including uh, cortisol, which is a hormone that helps with the control of your overall metabolism. Um, it also makes uh, the metanephrine and uh, epinephrine. Uh, those are hormones, again, that help with blood pressure control and flight or fright uh, mechanisms. And then and aldosterone, which is another hormone that helps with uh, the blood pressure and salt retention. Um, there are other reproductive hormones that could be uh, secreted by the adrenal gland. Um, but they're also secreted from other places as well. So, um, you know, um, there mm -hmm. are three, there are three words that I remember from medical school that they used to rem tell us about the adrenal gland. They said the gland that produces the salt, the sugar, and then uh, sex or stress hormone, you know? Yes. So yeah, if you yes. want to remember what control my salt, we are talking of your adrenal gland, what control mm -hmm. my sugar, um, which is your, your stress, sugar or stress which is your cortisol, you know, it's also yeah. from your adrenal gland. And then the sex hormone like that helps control your 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 hormone for running and fright and we call it the adrenaline is also from the adrenal gland. So That's it's right. a very important gland on top of the kidney that does a great job and you may not know of. Yeah, and you may know it as fight or flight, right? Yes. So when you hear about fight or flight, where do those hormones come from? that actually are involved in that mechanism. And it's the adrenal gland, the fight or flight hormones can yes. be released yes. from there. All right, good. So, um, so Grace, well, Dr. You know, the Grace? funny thing is that it's, mm -hmm. it's, when there is a nodule in this gland, some mm -hmm. people are not, many people are not aware. In those right. days, they, people die with it without even knowing they have it unless they present with symptoms. And these days with technology, you can easily mm -hmm. identify it when you go for CAT scan of your CT scan of your abdomen and then for something else. And then they find it. Like, oh, you have something on your your gland. Go see the endocrinologist and there they come. Yeah. Yep. So that's that's a great point. So in this in this era of increased endocrinology, there's so many uh nodules that are found all over the body but the adrenal gland is one of them when you do if you have abdominal pain you do a ct scan for the pain and the pain may be caused by something else but then then by chance or incidentally we call it you yeah. find a nodule on the adrenal gland so then usually the the primary care doctors or uh, whoever ordered that test usually refers these patients to us, the endocrinologists. Yeah. So when we see these glands, uh, these nodules in these glands, then we evaluate it. And the evaluation is based on uh, the size and whether it's making or secreting hormones or not mm -hmm. secreting hormones. Mm -hmm. So if it's very large, so like over four to six centimeters, um, then it's a little more concerning, especially over six centimeters. Usually over six centimeters, we usually recommend that it's just removed. But um, if it's less than four or uh, centimeters, usually we just um, monitor it. So one of the things that we do is look for three specific disorders. 
Um, those disorders are Cushing's disease, so the release of cortisol. So we usually order a blood test for cortisol. Um, the other th thing is a uh, pheochromocytoma. Um, again, that can um, manifest as high blood pressure with headaches, flushing, and different um, signs. So we order tests called like norepinephrine, epinephrine, and even dopamine levels. And then the last thing, if the patient does have known high blood pressure, then we order an aldosterone and renin level. Um, yeah. because and you don't uh, need to, they don't mm -hmm. need to know about these blood works, but just know that you need blood works because you now need, it sounds like, yeah. oh my God, what are these big names that we are calling, <laughs> you know? Yeah, but yeah. just know that when you have this found by chance and you have no symptoms, your doctor will definitely want to do some blood works to see those hormones and see if those hormones are causing, that they are functioning high or they are from the gland, the nodule that was found by chance. That's right. And if yeah. they if they are elevated, then mm -hmm. they need to be treated, um, either removed surgically, mm -hmm. um, but they also need to be confirmed with additional tests and then um, maybe treated with medications before surgery. So yeah. those are, you know, hormones um, that can be secreted from these glands. If they're not making anything, which most of the time is the case, like we yeah, do these most tests. Most times it's and, benign. Yeah, and yeah. they're benign. They're not making any hormones. We just Sorry. monitor them. What is the benign? Because I just realized I'm speaking medical oh, terminology. Yes. Again. Benign yeah. means it's non-cancerous. Yes, yeah. yeah. Non-cancerous yeah. is just there, sitting there, not doing anything. No, the hormone functions are okay. Or it's functioning, producing some hormones, whatever it is, but it's not cancerous. That's right. And then, so we just monitor it. So maybe once a year, we'll do a, a CT scan to evaluate it to see if it's growing. So they just need to be monitored by um, your doctor just to yeah. make sure. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, I was just reading by the latest guideline. They were telling us that, you know, now with the CT scan, uh, when you they check something called ounce feed, you yeah. don't need to know about the ounce feed, but yeah. we look into those ounce feed and see if it is less than 10 or greater than 10 and from there we decide should we continue to monitor by imaging every year or mm -hmm. we just stop you know so okay. with the latest guideline you will see different way your doctor is managing you so it's best to follow your doctor's advice on how to monitor this and how often should they monitor this uh no those all right that's right so again um for just to review, remember the adrenal gland is mm -hmm. a gland right above the kidneys and you have two of them. And normally, you know, they don't have nodules or growths on them, but if they do, the growths have to be evaluated. Well, I hope you learned today. And if you have any question, please drop your question in the comment section below. Like, share, discuss, tell your friends, your family, tell them to join and Guess what? We are going to start live. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we are yeah. open at May 25th at 7 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time, rather. Uh, we will be live. Okay. Join us. Come ask your questions. We'll be here. And remember, the more you know, the, the better, better you are. You are. <laughs> so we look forward to seeing you on May 25th yes. at 7 a.m. Please join us on uh, YouTube. Yes, on YouTube. And then we will, we will start spreading to other channels, uh, other social media with time. Thank you for joining us today. Bye for Thank now. Thank you. All right.